session for beginner series part two so in previous sessions we have seen what are the roles uh, sorry what are the uh, tasks for cyber dba or system admin so here is a uh, have a look so yes so these are the tasks for the cyber ac okay as a dba uh, we need to perform so now today's sessions we are going to check what are the roles we have in cyber ac okay as a system admin okay so first role is a sa role so as is a system admin role so what it does so it uh, it, it manage managing the disk spaces like uh, uh, managing the uh, file system okay what are the levels of file system we have what kind of uh, utilizations we have okay then yes we need to ensure that uh, we need to uh, diagnose and report the uh, on anything specific on a server level yes SO role is if somebody is having SO role he will be able to you know uh, perform backup and load or dump and load I would say okay the third of uh, four tasks I would say we uh, the second perform is modifying and dropping server login accounts so let's say if there is a login uh, which needs to be dropped okay or a person who left the organization if he is having a login access to the particular server then i think sa can you know uh, drop the login okay so sa role is the highest privileges uh, i would say in the cyber ac the, the the next task is yes is able to create the database and granting uh, objects uh, or ownership for the particular objects okay uh, yes, yeah, setting up a group um, can be used as a granting and revoking the permissions. We can set up a group, customized group or custom group, I would say. Yes, SA is also responsible or we can, you know, tune the performance of a Sybase AC servers to make it uh, to, to make its best performance. So next rule is SSO, that is System Security Officer. Okay, so what it does, uh, we'll see here. Yes, yeah, so what is SSO role? So SSO is stand for like system security officer. Okay, so most of the security task is performed with the help of this uh, role. Okay, so like creating logins, of course, SA and SSO can do cre both creating the logins, resetting password, dropping the logins. Okay. Yes, again, yes, uh, like change reset password, I would say. Yes, of course. Well, while creating login, um, uh, the password expression level can also set with the help of SSO login. So it's usually it's 90 days, like 90 days after every 90 days, the password will be expired. You need to reset the password. So such type of thing we can set up with the help of SSO rule. Okay. The next rule is upper rule. Okay. So what is upper? It's operational rule. I would. Okay. And uh, what it does. So with the help of these rules, one can perform uh, dump and load operations. Okay. Uh, yes, this is particular single user. So let's say uh, we have a requirements where we need to uh, ask a particular user to perform only database backup and load operations. So yes, and under those circumstances, we can assign these roles to the uh, specific user. Okay. Yes, of course, we can perform dump run. Uh, okay, with the help of this upper rule. And next is Cybase TS rule. It's a like troubleshooting rule. Okay, so we can uh, troubleshoot uh, with, uh, if 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 I, I I don't want to give any S or SSO rule, only specific to TS rule, uh, so that user can you know find out the SQL text show plan of the query with the help of this uh, uh, Cybase TS rule. Okay, so yes, these are the four main roles we have in Cybase AC. So next we are going to see, uh, yes, of course, Sybase AC installation. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, for L1 DB, okay, uh, the person or the individual must know what are the uh, different components while installing the Sybase AC. So yes, so, uh, you might have seen like many, many people like in, they ask the uh, questions like what are the, the important files in Sybase AC, okay. So I have categorized this Sybase AC installation on this particular path, like what are the important files, how to start Sybase AC once it is installed, uh, what are the environment variable we have in Sybase AC, and what are the default database or system databases we have in Sybase AC, and yeah, of course, uh, like how to shut down the Sybase AC, uh, okay, 
what are the types of shutdown i would say so yes let's start with what are the important files so yes just enlarge yes sir. what the first file is interface file so what it does okay so uh, interface file is located uh, under the dollar size uh, uh, location okay so we'll see this in uh, moment uh, variable later okay so, so the interface files located uh, interface file located under under this uh, dollar sideways path okay so it's provide the connectivity information for client server architecture okay uh, yes and uh, on windows side it's called as a sql ina file okay so what it does like first we need to access this copy for each client and server in a architecture and then the yes, server will uh see like uh, which inbound specific network it has to be at pay the attention okay so all this information will be here in interface file the next is uh, uh you know run server file so what is run server file so run server file is created after the uh you know cybase ac install okay so file located under the dollar cybase slash dollar cybase ac slash install okay so this is an installation location where you can find this run server file okay so what it does what it contain it simply contain the what are the master devices default uh, location of master devices error log files uh, what are the page size we have in cybase ac where the shared memory, uh, shared memory location are kept okay so all this information we can find uh, in, in the run, uh, run server file so without run server file we cannot start the cybase ac servers yes we will see this in uh, upcoming uh, you know uh, uh, session so next uh, the next important file is a error log file so uh, error log file is created okay while the installation of the cybase ac is finished okay so all the um, i would say uh, operator connection messages will be stored here okay you can open this file um, you know by navigating the path like dollar cybase dollar cybase ac install then you can find the error log file the, uh, the error log file uh, name is like error log underscore a the, the name of the ac servers we have dot log okay so similarly we can have the backup error log also okay so these are the important files we have in cybase ac the next part uh, the uh, next uh, file is uh, server cfg okay server name dot cfg file it's a configuration file so there are various wide range of uh, you know uh, server level uh, parameter configurations we need to set okay so this will you know kind of uh, in, uh, will which, which will hold the information of such type of configurations in cybase ac so when you whenever you, you know change or you know set any kind of uh, configurations to cybase ac level so what it does it will take the archival of the previous file and create a new file so the standard for this file is like server name dot three digit like zero zero one okay uh, it, it will archive and the next file will be server name dot zero zero two no uh, I, i'm sorry so server name dot zero zero one will be uh, let's say the archived file and the the um the the, the the file that we will have will be server name dot cfg file so all these are our wide configurations will be stored uh, under these locations so we can find this file under the dollar cybase uh, path okay so these are the yes so these are the four important files we have uh, in cybase ac so many interviewers okay whenever you go for l1 or l2 task uh, specific level of uh, interview questions then we, you will have this uh, questions always like what are the important files we have in cybase ac so yes so this part is covered so next like how to start the cybase ac okay so yes so we'll see here so yes uh, so after the installation is finished for Cybase AC, uh, we can find this file under the uh, as mentioned here, like dollar uh, Cybase dollar Cybase AC slash install. Okay, so there you can see the run server file. Okay, it it will hold the information of the uh, like master device locate. Okay, uh, ma master location of a master device, location of error log file, uh, shared memory allocation. Uh, and yes for what the page size we have for the sideways ac setup okay so we we can start with the help of a command called start server space hyphen space run server file name so ac will start automatically okay and yes after that we need to also make um, ensure that we have to start the backup server as well okay so we, the command would be start server hyphen f run server file underscore back 
ओके सो येस दिस इज हाउ वी कैन स्टार्ट दिस आई वी सी सर्वर सो नाउ नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज लाइक वॉट आर द एनवायरमेंट वेरेबल्स वी हैव इन साई बेज ए सी सो दिस अगेन फेवरेट क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल इंटरव्यूवर्स दिस विल आस लाइक वॉट आर द साई बेज ए सी इज एनवायरमेंट वेरेबल वी हैव सो फर्स्ट इज डॉलर साई बेज ओके सो वॉट इट डज सो इट्स विल बी अ बेसिक डिरेक्टरी वेर वी हैव ऑल द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर विल बी प्रेजेंट अंडर द डॉलर साई बेज सो वंस यू विंस यू एक्सट्रा द बाइनरीज एंड स्टार्ट इंस्टॉलेशन सो येस द फर्स्ट वेरेबल वुड बी डॉलर साई बेज then next is like it dollar side base underscore aec so this will be a sub directory uh, uh, under this dollar side base so where all the adaptive server enterprise files are located okay the next is important environment variable is ds query so ds query what it does so this is used when the clients uh, has a default aec to connect the default entry will be in here in the uh, ds Now for the DS query into the interface file. Okay, so the next one is DS listener. Okay, so what it does like if we don't mark any kind of a listeners over here, then yes, interface we have this uh, default entries for this uh, into the interface file, and yes, so server uh, so so for for where we can you uh, know uh, serve this. Uh, uh, application sorry uh, so where we can serve actually the request coming for the particular clients for the servers okay so this information we can have in ds listen uh, variable then we have a cybers ocs okay so dollar cybers ocs is like open client server uh, where again it, it, it will be a sub directory to dollar cybers ac only okay the next important is sysam okay so Uh, we have software asset management uh, is located under the sub directory of the dollar cybers so these are the most important environment variables we have in cybers ac okay so in next session we will see what are the default databases we have okay and how we can shut down the uh, cybers ac thank you